Hey guys, this is George. I want to go over George's Excel Daily Weight Tracker for year 2022. Currently, I'm in the main section of the program. Up top here, we have the chart. To the right here, we have an Excel slicer where you can zoom into certain time periods. And down below that, we have the data table where you can enter your information and your weight. So let's take a look at that data table. The key fields where you're going to enter your information are your actual weight which is this blue column here. The purple column next to that is where you're going to enter your goal weight. And then next to that, you're going to enter your range weight that you want to stay within. So let's go ahead and start entering some information. Let's enter our ideal goal weight that we want to reach. And we'll say that that's 150 pounds. We'll say the low range that we want to stay within is 147. And the high range that we want to stay within is 153 pounds. Now I'm going to go ahead and copy that down for the rest of the year. And you can change those goal weights throughout the year, but I'm just going to keep them the same for this example. So up top here, we see the chart has now been filled in. We can see that that purple line on the graph represents your ideal goal weight. And then the orange represents the range weight that you want to stay within. So the benefit of having that ideal weight range is that it gives you some wiggle room to stay within because it's hard to keep your weight exactly at one particular weight. So this gives you a couple of pounds that you want to stay within. So the next thing you're going to do as you go throughout the year is you're going to enter your weight, your actual weight when you weigh yourself. And you can enter this on a daily basis or weekly or as often as you would like to. So let's go ahead and start entering some sample information. And you can see as you enter the information up top here, this color here for the actual weight starts getting filled in. So I'm going to go ahead and go to a worksheet where I've completed the whole year for entering the weight. And you can see here that the actual weight has been filled in for the entire year. And you can see here we started off the year weighing about 180 pounds. Then our weight kind of creeped up and then it slowly decreased until about the middle of the year in July. And then for the rest of the year, we've kind of maintained our weight within that ideal weight range that we set for ourselves. Over to the right here, I'm going to show you how to use the slicers. This is where you can zoom into a particular month or a range of months. So let's say we want to take a look at those middle months there. And you can zoom in on just May through August. And let's say that we just want to take a look at one month, December, and we can take a look at just the days within the month of December. If you want to clear that and show all the months of the year, just click this button up here. And the last thing I want to go over is the extra columns over here of information. These are automatically filled in for you. You have the percent of the year that you have completed. So if you go down to the bottom, you can see that you're completed throughout the whole year down here. You can see the day of the year. You can see the day of the week. And the weekends are highlighted in yellow. And then the next column within goal range is an indicator light of either a red X mark or a green check mark of whether or not you stayed within your goal range. So the first day of the year, you were 180 pounds. So that is outside of your goal range that you set for yourself. So it puts a red X mark. And it looks like if you look at the chart here, around the middle of the year was when we first became within the goal range. So let's scroll down to the middle of the year, somewhere in June or July. And we can see right here on June 17th, we weighed 153 pounds. And that is within our goal range. And it marks it with a green check mark. You can also filter these columns. to see just a subset of data. So that is an overview of Georgia's Excel Daily Weight Tracker for year 2022.